We just asking for a new Ghana, a new Africa, because how sudden it is, how terrifying and how insulting it is for our leaders. MPs traveling overseas to enjoy their vacation, pretending they've not seen the kids in their communities sitting under trees having studies. This is very devastating. It pisses me off. It really disturbs me as a young African. Ministers investing millions of dollars under miniskets over and overnight, and they claim there is no enough money to actually fix the system. Who are you telling? As it stands now, we owe so much that each Ghanaian is owing about 12,000 Ghana cities. This is pathetic. Osajifu and all others that stood with you to fight this very fight. You were called the big six. Today, if Ghana is a Ludo game, we can't even play six. If you lost song, we they play. Osajifu, Aman Saimboaf, political Osofu. I am privileged to even read about you to know that you've done so well. But you know what? The storyline is being twisted, so I don't even know what others will tell their grandchildren or their children that will be produced in the future. All we're asking for is a new Ghana. All we're asking for is a new Africa. We want to see more of the uh, Akosomo dams and Adomi bridges. We want to see more of the Temamoto ways and the KUSTs. We want to see more of the well-structured communities and exceptional processing factories. Or Sajifo, this is all we are asking our leaders of today. Whether they can hear us or not, we can't tell. But leaders, today, the youth are on the streets demonstrating. So if you can hear them, then hear them now because it's a step in the right direction depending on how you take it as i always say the youth is a powerful tool so leaders listen to us it depends on how you use this we will be a great tool a great tool to build this very nation and when you misuse this we will be a great tool to damage this very nation of our own